All right, this is Anthony F. here, AreYouAndrew.com, and here we are bringing you just the facts, folks, just the facts, comparison of three different devices that are totally up to date, something that you would totally use according to the circumstance. Welcome to Mobile Tech Heat. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. If you are in the BlackBerry world, if you are, this would be the device for you, the BlackBerry Q10. Even though today, BlackBerry Unlimited or Limited has sent out the BlackBerry Messenger software out to everybody, if you still need a QWERTY keyboard and security, this would be the device. With their new implementation of the Linux-like software, very powerful, very comfortable. Multimedia is still there. Screen size is diminished, but you get the physical keyboard, and you can't beat that. The QNIX operating system is here is very powerful um, in that previous video you saw the many things it could do at the same time play videos play games have a video chat and text at the same time very powerful very powerful device if you are in a power user mode then it would be the galaxy samsung galaxy note 3 nice device Around the same size as the Note 2, many folks thought it would be bigger, but in, actual, in, in actuality, the screen size is bigger, but the bezel is about the same. Actual size is around the same as the Note, but a bigger screen, better quad-core chip, 4K recording of video, not 1080p which is top of HD. This is 4K recording. This is the kind of court recording that an independent movie company would use. It's in this little boy right here. This is the one you would be needing for power user, power video, power pictures, power everything. Now, if you are a hipster, you need to customize your device the way you want it to be. Motorola X should be the one. Very, very ergonomic, very nice in the hands, not too big, not too small, has a little dimple here, kind of makes everything fit just right, you know, full thumb, operation, very fast, very responsive, comes in plain white, you can customize almost everything, color wise all about it, very nice. Also another feature I didn't want to forget about is the infrared earlier we looked at this and said what in the world is that little dot right there that is an infrared receiver right there folks infrared diode you can actually control your tv and your old infrared devices with this phone the note 3. And like i said this is a power user's device here a power user uh, if you just want a good phone that looks good does a job is this this has the extra chip inside of it that's always listening this phone is really, really smart. Um, it is Motorola and Google's first phone under the Google umbrella. And Google has it so that it will, you can train it for your voice and your voice only. And you can call it, talk to it, and they'll only respond to you like a faithful pet. <laughs> so it's up to you folks how you want to do it, what you need it to do. Motorola X. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or the Blackberry Q10. It's all up to you and how you use it, how you need it, and what your job requires. So, this is Anthony F. here. I'm not going to make the choice for you. It's up to you. Anthony F. taking a look at the Q10 from Blackberry, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, and the Motorola X. All right, you have fun.